My family has a long history in the food industry. Um, my family is from uh, an island in Greece called Samos, um, right next to Turkey. Um, it's a actually known as the island of uh, Pythagoras, the mathematician. Uh, it's a beautiful island. My uh, great-grandfather, um, I know, owned the supermarket Delicatessen there 75 years ago. My grandmother, my Yaya Sophia, uh, owned a cafe that still exists to this day. Different ownership. Uh, uh, today it's called the uh, Blue Chair Tavern. My business partner John and I uh, graduated uh, from college uh, as civil engineers uh, geez, maybe uh, almost 20 years ago. Uh, when we first got out of college we uh, established what uh, became a successful construction company. For me uh, to enter the food industry was somewhat instinctual, natural for me. I kind of knew the basics, and I really, really enjoyed the industry. My professional and personal values are more or less the same. Uh, to create a product that's a good product that's healthy for my family, uh, a product that's healthy for our customers. Uh, we're always looking for ways to improve our products. Our, our bagels are unbleached and unbromated. We know bleaching agents are harmful for your health. We also know that the bleaching process for flour, although in trace amounts, produces a toxin known as alexin. As for the potassium bromate, we know that it's a type 2 carcinogen. Uh, so we've taken steps to uh, remove this um, toxin from our flour, basically eliminating the harmful substance from our customer's diet and from my family's diet. Uh, the perfect bagel. Um, I've heard you could get some uh, great bagels in the city, ours included of course. We're always uh, looking for ways to improve our bagel in pursuit of that perfect bagel. The perfect bagel uh, should definitely have a nice crunch on the outside as you bite into it. Uh, it's got to be chewy on the inside uh, and like ours is, it, it's, it has to be packed with flavor. Community is very important to any business. Um, a business needs the support of its community, and a community needs the support of its businesses. Uh, it's like one hand washing the other. The way I see it is like we're all on the same team, same baseball team. You know, we all have to do our part uh, if we want our team to win. Our cream cheeses are just as important to us as our bagel. Um, if we had more space, we'd offer. A uh, larger variety. The way we solved that issue is uh, we we introduced uh, to our menu a cream cheese flavor of the week. This week our flavor of the week is Snickers cream cheese, Snickers ball cream cheese. It gives us all uh, an opportunity to be creative. The managers, the owners, we all get involved and the energy it creates is great. I mean the customers love it. I had the awesome opportunity to work with my dad when we first started this business. Uh, He's a great man. I got to know more about him, uh, how he would run his business. Uh, it was an old school versus new school scenario, so that could get kind of tricky, but I believe we embraced those differences. And uh, what I feel we did is we took the best of those two worlds and we incorporated them into how we run our business today. This country is the land of opportunity. Where better does that opportunity present itself than in New York? When my father came to this country, to this city, uh, he meant business. He hit the ground running. Uh, just a few years after selling donuts in the subway station with my mom, uh, he purchased his own diner. Talk about controlling your own destiny. I feel my dad was a model for that philosophy. I feel that if you have a goal, a dream, uh, whatever it is that you want to do, I feel you have to come to the city, grab it, and you have to run with it why I love New York. Take a look around. Uh, besides the opportunity it offers, uh, the wonderful people you get to meet, uh, it's also a great place to live. Uh, we have a vibrant concrete jungle. Uh, it's safe. One of the safest cities on the globe. It's a wonderful place to raise a family.